Liking anime in high school was crazy, bro. Not only was it just basically not allowed because that was social aside, but it was also that weird thing where like certain people were able to like anime, like as long as they pretended that it wasn't a big deal. Like you got that one popular kid that wore a Goku shirt, but if you asked him about Dragon Ball Z, they'd be like, yeah, I've watched, you know, the occasional, but like they, you know, they weren't really big fans. It was kind of like they were just doing it to be cool. It's like those kids that wore Metallica shirts in high school and shit. Like, come on, bro, let's keep it a book. Your Apple Music's looking real little baby, little Dirk maybe maybe playboy cardi on a good day you were never really able to own that you liked anime publicly it was seen as an l it was seen as like cringe and you know all those things are true like majority of anime fans are probably some of the most deplorable human beings that i've ever met in my entire life anybody that actively watches hentai oh don't make oh almost punch you in your chest just now like anybody who is an enjoyer of hentai like i'm sorry i don't care if i really offend you but your parents should be really ashamed of you like it should be a known thing that you're like a danger to society Society. and i mean that in the worst way possible but for the average anime fan who like maybe watch dragon ball naruto one piece the, you know the the black people starter animes you weren't even able to like that shit bro it really wasn't until maybe 2018 2019 that it became socially acceptable to kind of like anime and that's and, and when i say like anime it's like oh yeah I, you know you watch the most mainstream shit right you can't you can't be liking anything other than dragon ball z if you say the word soul eater you're getting packed out in the back of the classroom <laughs> I had a couple of traumatic experiences uh, telling people I liked anime, right? You know, I had this friend in, in elementary school who he would, he would always talk about Pokemon in class. He'd be like, oh yeah, I watch Pokemon. I collect the cards. I play the games. I bring my DS to school to play Pokemon. Like, you know, I was one of those kids. And I'm thinking, okay, well, if we'll call him Alex. If Alex can play Pokemon and still talk to girls and still have homies and still be socially acceptable as a human, there's no reason that I shouldn't be able to talk about my love for Naruto and Dragon Ball, right? I'm in class and i'm like oh yeah so you guys like pokemon everyone's like yeah yeah my favorite pokemon is pikachu right the most basic ass pleb shit so i'm like oh yeah what do y'all think about naruto crickets sweat starts running down my forehead i'm looking i'm looking back and forth forth and back up and down and, and, and it's not getting any better the crickets are starting to turn into like low-key judgmental looks you know i'm starting to get judgmental eyes peering on me i start making it worse for myself i didn't i didn't know that you couldn't talk about those things right they start clowning me you know they start saying like why am i watching asian cartoons i'm getting slapped on the back of my neck i go home my father beats me like every tuesday <laughs> But then on top of the fact that he beats me, he disowns me. That's f***ing dumb, son. Get the f*** back on the farm. <laughs> Get the f*** back on the farm. You're not, you're not doing that. Stupid. He's like, son, I was going to be in your life, but <laughs> that shit you watch is... <laughs> That shit's ridiculous, son. And he and he jumped out the window and I never saw him again. This was the societal problem about liking anime, right? And then life was already bad as it is. But then you had one of the biggest, most influential YouTubers drop the video that every anime fan knows about. We've all seen this YouTube video, right? And nothing he said in this video was wrong. And anything, he, he's the GOAT for sure. But like, bro, he, he put a stain on anime fans. After that video dropped, let you say that you even know an anime. All of a sudden, you're a weeaboo. Like, get a job weeb you're never gonna go to japan now like i admitted in my last video i did have a phase where i thought i was gonna move to japan and yes i would have needed subtitles no i didn't know a lick of japanese now as a grown man and assess things through like a grown man's lens i can tell you that i don't know what the fuck i would have done in japan like i would have got there i couldn't speak the language when there wasn't anime bitches and thigh highs i probably would have been disappointed i'm like oh everyone here hates themselves this is just the united states but more bright under no circumstances had any logical thinking about wanting to move to japan and like like anime i was just so delved deep in that shit i thought anime monster girls was gonna tickle my feet when i got there i hate weeps i think there's a level of like when you're in school where like you you probably should just keep that shit on raps right like we all knew the kid who anime ran we all knew the kid who he would talk like he was an anime villain like he would anime laugh and be like fools your time has come like you know and it's being like that is like that I, that's acceptable as to why you shouldn't be able to breathe the same air as everybody else on campus i understand that part right but just being a casual fan of anime should not like have been such a big deal like it, sh it shouldn't have ostracized you from normal human interaction right especially considering a lot of y'all who don't even watch anime got a lot of weird fetishes and things that y'all are into to begin with i don't know why y'all was getting on anime kids heads especially when y'all was watching like the the booby scenes the regular movies that came on anyways you know what i'm saying like i get the anime had a bad rep because kids were wearing the anime girl face shirts and things like that which like i said previously if you're wearing that shit you deserve 
to be packed out like uh, no no question but like for people who just are casual enjoyers of anime and series and things like that or manga or whatever they were delving their balls into getting dick cheese from i don't think that we should have like hated on them for that because it's really just cartoons right nobody was walking up to you like uh you watch spongebob <laughs> what the fuck like nobody says shit like that but when it came to anime that shit was weird and cringe and you know it's ironic considering like most of the time in anime all all they be doing is boxing all they do is box 90 percent of anime is just a dude punching each other so so but it's it's cool when it's in the ufc or in boxing but when it's in the anime it's it's lame because it's drawn by hand there are animators working thousands of hours to provide entertainment but it's lame because it's in japanese that's a little weird you know what i'm saying because like if there was an american show where they were just boxing and cartoons y'all would praise that shit up to the fucking heavens but because it's an anime now it's gay but all right bro with high school though you're in a fucking you're in a prison with a bunch of rabid animals you know you have edgars you have hood dudes you you just in a you're in a box of people who don't belong together if you enjoy anything that's outside of the status quo what's acceptable to enjoy in high school all automatically you're a loser most people that you know were like secretly anime fans like secretly like they couldn't say it but they liked anime most majority of people like anime but a lot of people were too ashamed to say that shit myself included because i knew the rap that anime had i would have rather kept my like social status or what little social status i had by not admitting like i liked anime my interest had to be relegated to like basketball and uh and, and food like yeah i like basketball and food bro no no that, that goku shirt is not mine bro my little brother put it in my backpack by accident like you know what i'm saying like you couldn't really be yourself and and, and, and what good is life if you can't be yourself <laughs> you know what i'm saying but if you like anime and that's your thing and you were into it don't feel ashamed don't be a little peewee and like hide it bro like honestly who cares like who cares if people make fun of you because at the end of the day most people who are like ripped as fuck that i know even just in the gym they all started doing that going to the gym and getting on self-improvement and shit because of anime like so realistically anime is not that bad anybody who has that opinion is really just hating and like i've hated in the past like i said i got i had to get re back into anime because i was so weirded out by the social thing around it but like honestly anime is not as big of a hoopla and as big of a cringe thing as everybody says it is a lot of y'all are just overreacting but you know if you have your opinion and you think anime sucks you comment down below let me know in the comments not that i really care but you know i, I like to see i like to see opinions in the comments and for those of you that like the video like anime all of that make sure you like the video comment down below subscribe and i will catch you on the next one